If we could all look right here. Just try. From the beginning, the early, the, from the early conversations that I had with producers and with Gary, was there was an opportunity to take it out of New York and, and yeah, have it give it a more of a global feel, the MIB world. So we are, we're here in London, we're in Marrakech, we're in Italy. So there's a, um, and we're in New York still. So there's a, I mean, yeah, it has a, has a, has a much bigger scope than we've seen before. I'm a big fan of the films, and when we are shooting this movie, there are moments when I walk into some of these set pieces, and I'm like, oh my god. She definitely has her reservations about him. You know, initially she's excited to try and be on the mission, but very quickly kind of says, thinks, hang on, this is something doesn't add up here. This guy is not quite what he's talking about. So that's the first time that I spot H. But H is an agent whose reputation precedes him because he is very unorthodox. He has saved the world or so everyone says, and he says a lot and likes to remind everyone. So he's sort of a star agent, apart from, you know, his dashing good looks and his jag and his cool swag, he's also pretty accomplished. When you put the glasses on, you have the whole suit and it all comes together. And Tessa and I on the first day for the camera tests we looked at each other and thought, wow, this, this is pretty cool, you know, this is, this is the iconic shots we'd seen in the previous movies. Molly, who happens to be a woman, is the one that is sort of really rational and is leads with her heart and then Agent Cage it leads with his, you know, leads with his, his heart and his emotions and he's less rational and I think there, it, it, makes for some cool interplay between them. And they have some really different fundamental ideas about what's important in the world. And I think in the course of the movie, they both, you know, kind of bring each other over to their side, respectively, which is cool. It's a real throwback to the classic sort of cop films that we, that I grew up on, but injected with a sci-fi alien element which makes it very unique and fresh. It is, you know, there's a great sense of humor to it and a great, you know, universal scope and we, you know, we traverse a lot of landscape in this and, and a lot of different settings, um, but a huge amount of heart too. I think it always comes back to the characters and, and their, you know, interconnected sort of relationships within this world and... Ah! Catching up on my daily meditation. I am 